lot of people think confidence is something you either have or you don't have. Well, I know personally that confidence is something that you can build. For you, your support system is endless. You have your family, you have your friends, you have people here, people in your business. Gold medalist Nikki Stone is a successful speaker, motivating executives across the country with inspiring experiences that led her to win the gold at the 98 Olympics. That day in Nagano, Nikki Stone won the gold medal, became America's first ever Olympic champion in the sport of women's inverted aerials, and defied doctors. What makes her performance inspiring is that two years earlier, a chronic injury prevented her from even standing, let alone skiing 40 miles an hour down a slope and landing after twisting and spinning at the height of a five-story building. Every single one of those 10 doctors told me, Nikki, you may never jump again. And in all likelihood, you may never ski again. But I couldn't accept that. I had this dream since I was five years old, and I was going to keep it alive. That passion drove Nikki Stone to capture her Olympic gold medal dream. Today, she shares her secrets and motivates audiences across America to excel and achieve their gold medal goals. Nikki's trademark philosophy, the turtle effect, helped her overcome her devastating back injury just two years before winning an Olympic gold medal and inspires audiences nationwide to overcome challenges and accomplish their own objectives. That philosophy was taught to me when I was a very young girl, about five years old, and it was taught to me by my mother. And she told me about something called the turtle effect. And she said, in order to have success, you have to be soft on the inside, you have to have a hard shell, and you have to be willing to stick your neck out. In order to have a hard shell, I needed focus, commitment, and the ability to overcome adversities. In order to stick my neck out, I needed to believe in myself, I had to take a risk, and I needed the teamwork to pull it all together. Motivating executives by taking them through her journey to the Olympics, Nikki articulates each point with experiences that raised her to the top podium at the Olympics. An Olympic gold medalist, Nikki persuasively explains why believing in yourself, taking risks, and working as a team are critical for success. Got to the bottom of the hill, and after that first round, I found I was in 12th place. I was sitting right on the edge. I went back to the cop where my coach was standing. He said, well, Couple options. We can go for an easier jump. We can do a double backflip, one that you know and you know how to land and it's easier for you. Make sure you're in finals. Or you can go for the triple backflip, which is a lot more difficult jump to land, but you'd be ranked higher in finals. And I looked to him and I said, the gold medal doesn't go to the conservative. Growing up, my grandmother always told me, the brave do not live forever, but the cautious do not live at all. Nikki's remarkable experience fascinates audiences and gives them practical applications to tackle their specific challenges each day. Succeeding in business is a lot like succeeding as an Olympian. Passion, focus, commitment, the ability to overcome adversities, believing in yourself, taking risks and teamwork are necessary for success in the business world and were necessary for Nikki to become an Olympic gold medalist. You have to shine when it counts. When you're with a client, it may be half an hour, it may be an hour, but there's a lot of work that goes into that hour. And you have to make sure that you're ready to shine in those key moments. Our greatest similarities is that we all have to take a risk in order to reach the top of our game. If you don't at least try, you've already failed. So why not go home and risk taking that venture variable annuity, or more specifically, the principal plus for life, and find out how it improves your business? Captivating the audience, Nikki helps them feel the success they can have by relating the moment she received her gold medal. I was so excited that I took my skis, ran over to my boyfriend, threw my arms around him and forgot to drop my skis. And as I had my hands around him, I whispered in his ear, I did it, I did it, I did it. And they said from the United States of America, Olympic gold medalist Nikki Stone. And I stepped onto the podium and bowed my head as they put the medal around my neck. And I had chills up and down my entire body. To sustain value long after her presentation, Nikki provides take-home items that continue to remind participants of key points to apply for their own success. 
Every day I went to the gym, I'd take my Super Bowl with me. And when times got the most difficult, I'd bounce my Super Bowl and remind myself to have that strong outer shell because no obstacle was too big to overcome. Wherever Nikki Stone speaks, audience members love her and leave with a desire to apply her strategies in their lives.